Identical twins, Annie and Hallie, separated at birth and each raised by one of their biological parents, later discover each other for the first time at summer camp and make a plan to bring their wayward parents back together. Welcome to the Walt Vault with Michelle, Andre, Louise, and me, Emily. We're a family-friendly podcast where we pick a new Disney movie each week. We watch it, share our thoughts, and then relate it to pop culture, fandoms, and anything else that pops into our heads. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to The Walt Vault, episode 56! With a sick Andre. Yes, I would like to firstly apologize to all (laughs) of our listeners for sounding incredibly grossly sick. Uh, That is because I am incredibly grossly sick, so... And also, half of California is on fire, and... The air is smoky, so we're all kind of like, yeah. Yep. We have Andre sitting in a corner off by himself, so we can't even see him. Yeah. I'm but we can hear him. Very far away from everybody Goodbye. Else. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. This week, we are talking about the 1998 live action film featuring two Lindsay Lohans, The Parent Trap. The best movie. Oh, man. I love this movie. Introducing Lindsay Lohan. Yes, introducing Lindsay Lohan. This is her first movie. Uh, she had been on a, like a couple of TV shows um, before this, but this is her her very first movie, and she was amazing. She was like really good. I forgot how like adorable Lindsay Lohan used to be. She was a cute kid. It's man. funny because Luis and I start watching this movie, and he was like, "I don't like Lindsay Lohan." I'm like, I, "I'm not disagreeing with right. you." Yeah, but, but then, a I, child. but as you're watching her, like she did a really yeah, good job, and amazing. I was afraid that it wouldn't hold up, like as an adult. Right? Nah, she was pretty freaking she was great. Yeah, yeah, and it held did, up great. She did two roles. <laughs> it was amazing. I just want to know how long it took to shoot it, all of those scenes. Uh, apparently, it took eight months to film this movie, and I think that's it. I think I've, that's pretty normal for yeah. for movies, you know. Um, I was trying to look up stuff on like how they did the the screen doubling double person technology and stuff like that, but I couldn't I couldn't find too much. But I didn't I didn't yeah. delve too deeply. I mean, they just never touch, so you know. Well, I mean, in the scenes where they are very close to each other or looking right at each other, um, I believe it's like a green screen effect where one Lindsay is is there, and then they have like a body double, and then they shoot it again with Lindsay on the yeah. other side, and then they just pair them together. Yeah. But uh, it looked really good. Like it didn't it didn't. The only times it looked bad was like, I think there was one time where they were like peeking out behind a tree and that looked a little weird. Oh, but yeah. Because you could tell like one was much definitely like deeper. Deeper into, yeah. the, into the scene. Yes. But other than that, it looked great the entire time. Was, Unless that tree was, was just impressed. really weird on the backside and we just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Possibly. All right. Wilderness. So first impressions. My it's weird. My first impression of this movie as a child was I loved it. Like I watch I was watching this movie like possibly every week <laughs> like, i'm not gonna lie i had it on every vhs week. not All dvd vhs with two Lindsay low hands on the screen <laughs> on the cover um i was obsessed with this movie i would watch it all the time it was my go-to um i still upon this viewing as an adult i haven't watched it in years guess i still had to memorize because i remembered everything <laughs> i was like yeah i got this this is what happens uh, it was wonderful i love this movie yeah andre first Especially impression song. um first impressions yeah i definitely watched this as a kid like a fair amount like at least like you know six to ten times or whatever when okay. i was younger and um i liked it a lot then but now watching it as an adult it's it's like a really well made movie like I, I was really impressed by how well put together the writing was and all the performances in it Ooh, like the every, story line everybody was great. good yeah the storyline was really good and i like how intertwined and uh and uh complex that it was I, I don't I don't remember because like this movie is a remake off of the 1961 Parent Trap movie. Yes. And I, I think I've seen that once maybe. I haven't seen that. But I don't, I don't know how much they're pulling like directly from that that older movie. I would say my first impression is that this movie was still really good. Yes. I remember liking it as a kid. Same thing like what you guys are saying. I remember liking it. I remember. I See for me I didn't watch it as much as a kid but I remember watching it enough that I remembered the big scenes mm-hmm. yeah. um, so it was it was fun to rewatch it because I was like oh that's how they got there right. um, but it was funny because just like you said it was more complex than I remember they went back and forth quite a few times right, yeah um, I didn't I thought like the camping trip came before they met at the hotel for mm-hmm. some reason which I don't know how that would have happened right. but just it, it was good they yes. had a very good plot line yeah. and it Everyone was tricking each other until the very end. Exactly, and yeah. poor little Daddy Quaid was just like, <laughs> what? 
I still love you, but right. what? What's oh. happening? He's crazy. <laughs> the acting in this movie is superb, just like all around. Like, mm-hmm. I love it. Um, I just remember as a kid, like, obviously at this point, I had the movie memorized. But the way the movie is structured, I get excited for each sequence. I'm excited when they go to camp. I'm excited when they switch places yeah. and see their first houses for the first time. I'm excited when they go to the hotel. I'm excited when they go camping. <laughs> I'm excited when they get married at the end. Like, I yeah. can remember each scene vividly, and I'm never like, oh, I don't care about the camping part. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't care about the hotel part. No, like, each part is great. Yeah. And I would say that there's not one character in this movie that is, like, like unneeded, like, right, unnecessary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Each character is very aptly done yes um r- regardless of if they're bad or good or whatever they are mm-hmm. um as much as meredith is awful she's oh she's it's a, great though right. so good you love so to hate good. her cruella you cruella. literally just want to like backhand or roll your <laughs> eyes so hard oh man it's so vindicating when they toss her out into that lake i'm like yes <laughs> i never <laughs> Fall thought off about the like how young she was until an adult. Yeah. Like, I didn't think that. I just thought she was annoying, right? Like, as a kid and as an adult, I was like, oh, she was 26. That's kind of creepy. But Right. Well, and I couldn't tell if she was lying about her age, like, if she was trying to say she was right. younger. But if she really was 26, like, dude, you deaf and you're, like, late 40s. For- well, <laughs> mid-40s, maybe. He was in his, well, he was probably in his mid-40s, yeah. But still. Yeah. The- no, he was he was liking that. Mm-hmm. Young twenty. Yeah, they, they were talking about some things in this movie too. Like uh, even like little Lindsay Lohan's were. I was like, okay, girl, <laughs> you used the S word. She right. it's the three letter S word. Yeah, she went there, man. Yeah. She was a smart little girl. Exactly. Yeah, very, very, uh, very mature eleven year old. <laughs> <laughs> so last week Emily and I were talking about. I was like, nah, this movie opens with the L O V E song, mm-hmm. and that's really the only reason I know this song. Is from this movie, which is kind of weird, but it did it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about this scene where they get married. And then I was thinking about it this time. Like, I literally think they met on that cruise ship and got married the next day. For real. Right, yeah. No, oh, like, it, they really did. No, I they did. I never thought exactly. about it that way, but I was like, oh, snap, they just met and got married. That's intense. Yeah, right. she, he got seated next to her on the ship because neither of them wanted to fly on an airplane. Right. And so that's how they were going from either from the United from States Europe or... To yeah. To Cal- or not California, probably the East Coast. And they yeah. got money, honey, so they was doing that kind of stuff. And they... Yeah, they just got hitched. They got hitched. On a boat. That's insane. Immediately. I like, love I it. never thought about it, but I'm like, oh, snap. That's but that what kinda, happened? But it kind of makes a lot more sense as to why it didn't work out. Right, because oh, it was so sure. whirlwind and yes. quack, quiz, if it's quick. <laughs> it was quack. It was quack. <laughs> it was so quack. But if you think about it, I mean, when people get... You know, they meet, they date for three months and then get engaged. People are like, oh, my God, that's right. crazy. Yeah. But this was I like, like met and eloped, <laughs> this man. was one day. One day you are so sexy. Well, I they even so say like, they were it. like super young and super passionate and and had tempers and stuff. So they were like, yeah, let's get married. You know what I mean? I can picture it with both of their personalities, too, uh, like on right. the show. But I still think that's super romantic and adorable. Oh, so precious. And even like the whole, that whole intro scene is is pretty cute. Like, I, I like it. Yeah. Well, and you know, one thing I really like about this movie, too, I guess this is kind of moving forward, but that all of the ancillary characters in their life liked the other spouse. Yeah. yeah they like were the grandfather. He, yeah. was, he was perfectly fine with Dennis Quaid. Yeah. And like Chessie, who I still am like, Chessie. I get I that her. she was like the, the she's the like butler, the, the nanny, the, the butler. nanny yeah. but like she liked her. Like mm-hmm. they, they just, there was no ill feelings right. other no. than that. It was just not, they were just too young or something. Yeah. Too young, they, too they, fast. They, were, they were just too, oh, she said like, we were just passionate and basically she said we were like angry all the time. <laughs> 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 we had so much fight or whatever. I don't know. What I love it. Exactly I mean, she was me. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> that, that was what I was like when I first got married. And she Louis straight, had to she rein straight it up in. was like, you didn't come after me. So I was like, Oh, come on girl. You should, you could have just come back too. You know right. what I mean? No, That's you don't go back after you go back after Elizabeth James. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Elizabeth James. Uh, Elizabeth. Love it. Um, so then it cuts just straight to the camp. Yes. And I thought there was like a little scene in between. Uh, I don't know why I thought we introduced the two characters before camp. But we did not. It just went straight to camp. And I, <laughs> this is so random, but I vividly remember the duffel bag scene where she can't get her stinking yellow duffel bag out of the duffel the, bag. The duffel bag pile. And then this is like, this is just like how they all make friends. Like, I hey, get my duffel bag. Yeah, I got it. And now we're friends. I don't know. The other I, girl's like, 
<laughs> or, she, or Lindsay Lay- Lohan looks at her and she's like, that's my kind of woman. Because <laughs> she can get the double bag out and she's not strong enough. Yeah. That that version, so Hallie, she's always like chewing gum, has her hair in this like half up thing. You can tell she's just like a chill California girl, but she's uh, sassy pants, man. Mm. They Well, both versions are, but. So Hallie is the California version. From Napa. From yes. Napa. Uh-huh. She is a daddy's girl, obviously. Yep. She, like well, Michelle her said. Her legit. She has, a, she has a very smart, educated dad, uh-huh. and so she is also very mature. Right, because they do everything together. Yes. Yeah. Um, like Michelle said, she wears her hair up half up, half down. It's short. Yeah, it's short-ish. She always has nail polish on. Mm-hmm. Ears, pierced. Ears, pierced. Ears pierced, yeah. So she's and she's, she's like sassy. Little, she's a little California girl, you know. Yeah. She she really a tomboy, is. Or, mm-hmm. yeah. A little bit tomboy. of a tomboy, yeah. I mean, she's on a vineyard slash, I guess, kind of similar to a farm, you know. Kind of ranchy, Got horses yeah, and stuff. Definitely ranchy. Yeah. So that's that's our introduction to her. And then <laughs> the the stinking <laughs> limo just pulls up, and Allie comes out in her little and Annie. Annie, I'm sorry. Annie comes out in her little um, <laughs> like checkered skirt suits. And I love her. I remember loving her outfits as a kid because they always match like the top and the bottom always match. And she always has a, a head band that matches like mm-hmm. in the exact same print. And I thought that was so cool. And the shoes. Like, yeah. And the, yes. the shoes were perfectly yeah. made yeah. for that outfit. Pumps. And also headbands were like really big in the 90s. I used to have so many headbands that I'd be like, I want her headband, mm. mom. I used to always tell my mom, like, why don't you dress me like that? <laughs> <laughs> like a little... London child. Yes. Yeah, and she's so prim and proper and she has like she has the, the best butler, butler, butler ever, Marvin. Martin. 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 Sorry, I can't <laughs> talk guys this early. Martin. <laughs> That's not that early. Martin <laughs> is the best. Well, it's funny because usually butlers are the most like uppity yes. out of all the people. And he, even though in some ways he was uppity, he was like, are you sure you don't want me to take you home? Mm-hmm. But he was also the coolest. Yes. Like he, he was loved her. crying yeah. that she was leaving. Yeah. He was like He's not happy upset. about it. And they had that cool secret handshake. Oh yeah. The best, Come on. The best <laughs> I remembered all the background music too. It was ridiculous. Was you know that song plays when they do it. Like yeah, it's yeah. not like yes. that was just in their head. That no, was no, that's the song that plays. When it they plays out of the trees oh, when wow. they do it. <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, legit. Um, <laughs> so they so they're both introduced and then they just carry on with camp life away from each other, like in separate dorms, and nobody rec- realizes that there's two girls that look exactly the same <laughs> for this camp until they start like fencing. Yeah, right. There's, fencing there's a, of there's all like a things. Fencing I was like, why are we fencing so at they camp? Both but mask up. legit made me want to go to camp so bad just to try fencing. That's what I told Luis. I said I think this movie. I think that I liked this movie so much, at least in the beginning, because I was obsessed with the idea of going to camp. I right. think all kids were. And it's funny because we were. T- I don't know. Did we talk about it on the I podcast? Never went to camp. No, but did we talk about it like on air, or did we talk about it before when we were talking about the the bug juice show? Oh yeah, oh, bug, bug juice. juice. I think that was <laughs> I think that was off, off mic. It was off mic. Making yes. friends, having, having fun. fun. Bug <laughs> juice. <laughs> but it's yeah, like, we had camp in our brains <laughs> in the nineties. You watch those shows and you're like, oh, I want to go camp. And so when they start out like this, like this looks like a super cool camp. Like they're doing some fun. stuff I want to do. It's an all girls camp except for that one little boy. <laughs> that little boy who keeps calling his mom and his mom does not care. Does she not is gone. care. She's like, I sent you off to camp. I'm free from you for for eight weeks. She's she's Have out fun. at the pool for eight weeks. Oh, she's I'm like, sure bye. both parents were like that. They were like, bye. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, no. that little kid is actually Lindsay Lohan's little brother. Oh, mm-hmm. the little boy. Yeah, the little boy. That was oh, hilarious. That's funny. So. Mom, mom, I thought this was a all boys camp. <laughs> <laughs> and the girls are like, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even send him back though. Yeah, he you stays think they the entire been like, eight weeks. Sorry, you can't stay here. Uh, they loved him in the end though. The yeah, boy. they yeah. did. That's hilarious. That's great. So they're they're fencing. Um, they have an amazing sword fight. Like uh, the 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 adult who's supervising the fencing class is not doing her job because they're just going all over the place and stabbing each other and jumping off of stuff and falling into water, and then uh, not staying in the corralled area whatsoever. Yes. <laughs> and then the masks come off. They're back to back, and then they have to shake each other's hands, and then they realize that they look exactly the same. And everybody's like, whoa, what? What's happening? What's going on over here? Why and are you I, look I always, that? like, immediate, I feel like I immediately would be like, oh, dang, I got a doppelganger. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Not like right. a twin. I would be like, I have a legit doppelganger. I don't know. But they are identical. And, I, oh, I mean, we obviously we know that they're the same person because it's the same actress. So it's, like, a little bit harder for me to suspend my disbelief that I didn't figure it out sooner. Like, why do we look the same? Right. Yeah. But I have to imagine that since this was Lindsay Lohan's first movie, a lot of people upon watching this didn't 
probably didn't know that, that it was uh, unless they made it clear in the trailers. I don't know. But they probably didn't know that it was just one girl playing both roles. You know, I didn't know. I would have assumed that it was two girls playing yeah. two girls. Like actual twins mm-hmm. playing. Yeah. Especially since uh, Lindsay Lohan's performance is really good. And she she does that British accent very well. Well, and that's, that's the funniest part of this whole movie is that I was worried that upon this viewing, just being older, having watched more like just other like, you know, just more TV, more, yeah, more movies stuff. and stuff being like. Ooh, her British accent was really rough, but right. actually was pretty good. It was really good, yeah. It, it was, was good. surprisingly it was good, much better I than I thought. I think the smartest thing they did was making the hairs different lengths because the anybody, hairs. any the their hair different lengths because, I mean, it, it changes your whole facial structure when you have oh, a different haircut. Sure, yeah. So then it was like more believable. Yeah. You know? Well, and like even the way they wore their camp clothes, even though they were both in right. camp type clothes, like they Annie, wore them differently. Yeah, and Annie always had like the little sweater with the collar popped out, mm-hmm. and Hallie Very just posh. looked like, you know, smacking gum. That's what I I always picture as one of those <laughs> girls just like with the really this. funky '90s sunglasses. Like yes. it made a difference, you <laughs> the know. Sunglasses. Ooh, they were bad. Mm-hmm. Every single pair were real bad. But anyhow, you, you want to know what was bad? The girls. Uh, I t- we were watching this movie. I was like, I remember all of them being so dang mean. Like they are harsh to each oh, other. Oh yeah, man. so they, they begin to play pranks on each oh, other. Oh oh oh, like yeah, the, like just like the background friends or whatever. I was like, it well even them. I was like, man, they're like the ringleaders of their friend groups. These little girls like, are all oh. ruthless. They start. They set up backroom poker games. With <laughs> with real money, which I'm pretty sure is illegal, they're <laughs> out here skinny dipping, they're stealing clothes, they're doing all kinds of stuff. Putting furniture on the ceiling. Yeah, they put the beds on the roof. Louise is like, "How did they do that?" <laughs> I'm like, they do "Suspend that? the disbelief, yeah, I guess. bro." That was, that was like, really I don't hard. know how they got those beds up there. <laughs> and then the most elaborate prank with the honey and the feathers that was and the chocolate and. Uh, and they must have drugged all those little girls because they were out like lights uh, getting uh, whipped cream foamed on their hair and that stuff is like that. Di- like, that's like destruction of property oh, up yeah. in there. Like <laughs> they had to <laughs> evacuate that entire area. That was that was rough. Exactly. But hilarious. Yes, it was, it was, it was hilarious, very funny. But it was also ruthless. I was like, maybe I'm happy I didn't go to camp with a bunch of mean girls. I don't know. Yeah. Dang. The original mean girl. Um. <laughs> it, it was the playing poker was hilarious. I was like, why are they both so good at poker? I didn't even know what poker was when I was eleven. Right, yeah. Uh, I did not. So know after was. after their pranks get them in trouble, they get sent to the isolation cabin. So which is I did not very, remember that. No, no I didn't isolation either, cabin, which is I just, a very funny concept. But uh, <laughs> but also very terrifying. Like you shouldn't send two girls that hate each other out to an isolation cabin. They might like murder each other. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know? I don't know if you yeah. like like saw this when you were watching it, but there was like words carved into the walls from other people who had been in the isolation cabin. Mm. It was like Pam from 1990 or something <laughs> like every year someone had been sent up there. They have like their, you know, like their prison. Right. Um, their way of dealing with it. Like <laughs> go notches. deal with your problems by yourself away from us. Yeah, well, and even so. like when they ate lunch, they were in the mess hall, but they had to sit they at the isolation, isolation table. table. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God, it was what do you at camp for? They literally right? have to be there for the rest of the four weeks oh, by, by themselves. <laughs> They're lucky they started liking each other. Exactly, That's all yeah. I'm saying. Man, can you imagine being in a cabin with someone you hate for eight weeks? Well, I mean, Ugh. they really did destroy the place, so they probably deserved yeah. it. So I thought they were going to send them home because right, I forgot yeah. about the isolation part. They're like, pack your bags. I was like, oh, camp is over. And then they marched them out <laughs> to the isolation They probably should have <laughs> sent them home, quite honestly. Probably, like, yeah. gee, Willikers. Yeah, that uh, was bad. So but then, fun. you know, they, they bond in this little cabin. Yeah. And her poor picture of Leonardo Oreos DiCaprio peanut butter? got crushed. <laughs> did you guys try Oreos with peanut butter after you saw this movie oh, for, for sure. the first time? I did, but I didn't like it. Yeah, not a, not a fan. I don't know if I've tried it, but I don't think I would enjoy it. Right. No. I like peanut butter and I like Oreos, sure. but I just don't. Separate. They can be separate. Yep. They don't have to I be tried together. it, but I didn't like it. Yeah, exactly. Same Z's. Um, so they they slowly slowly realize that they are <laughs> sisters. They're like, oh, I I never met my dad. Oh, I never met my mom. Oh, my mom's over here. Oh, my dad's over here. My dad never talks about my mom. Oh, my mom never talks about my dad. That's weird. I'm born on October. Oh, yeah, we both have the same birthday. Come on, we at both this like point, I'm snacks. like, come on, guys, <laughs> you gotta get it right. We you have born. the same exact freckle structure on our faces. Uh, <laughs> And then, um, and then they pull out their pictures and realize they're sisters, and uh, and then the fun begins. And then they start planning. But it's so funny because they immediately accept it. They're like, "Yeah, we love each other now." And yeah. I was like, yeah. "Ooh, it would freak me out a little bit." I just really appreciate that. Like, even though, like, as the viewer, then you're like, "Duh, they're sisters." Right. It's not like it's not drawn out. Like sure. they do a good amount of like back and forth. But it, I wasn't bored. Right, like I yeah. wasn't like, "Oh my god, come on, get it together." But once the fun starts, I mean, it's like jam-packed 
fun yeah. until the very end. It is because it's they're, adorable. Uh, they're, they're planning they're, their little heist. They're switching. Yeah, they're planning a little heist, which is a total twin thing to do. I feel like, come on. Right, that's the reason that I wanted a twin when I was a kid, <laughs> so that I, we could plan little schemes and stuff like I that. I think together. I told you guys this, but I I have twin cousins, and they did switch classrooms once, but just so the other one could take the other one's test mm, nice. in like third grade or something like did that. Did it work? They didn't get caught. Nice, <laughs> get it. They well, as adults, they look very similar. They're like the kind of twins that are like, yeah, real right. identical. Very Not very just like identical. identical. They like real yes. identical. Yeah. <laughs> identical. TN TN Tamara identical. Exactly. <laughs> TN Tamara. Oh yeah, they look identical. <laughs> Kristen and Angela. Yes. Identical. They're actually fraternal twins though. Which is hilarious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I can't remember the difference between them, but you know, one's fraternal, one's identical. Yeah. 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 Um, so after that they, they plan their switcheroo. They they learn, learn all the each other's manner mannerisms and, and they they cut hair and they oh, pierce, pierce ears. ears. So I read. I remember that part so that, vividly. Um, in the UK, they cut that scene out so that little girls wouldn't be trying to um, copy them. Because and and, and, oh. I, and and I was thinking that when I was watching the movie too, I was like, aren't little girls gonna like do this to each other and themselves? It seems really easy. You get a needle, you get some fire, you get a lemon, and then you're good to go. You just start stabbing each other in the ears. <laughs> seems like a pretty simple process. Luis almost threw up. He's like, "Why would you make me watch that?" I'm like, it's <laughs> "Well, I thought they turned it away from the camera, but no, they didn't." No, yeah. they she did starts. They're away. all screaming. And I think Lindsay Lohan <laughs> did have to get her ears pierced for this movie. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, how funny! Is, I remember that because I was like, "Gosh, I get her ears pierced." Yeah, so they cut that from the from the UK <laughs> release, and then they also cut it from the Disney Channel once once they started airing it on there eventually. That's freaking which hilarious. is very funny to me. Um, so they so they start doing all that, and then which I mean, if you think about that, Annie, the one from the UK, uh -huh. man, she got to go a lot undergo a lot of changes. Right. The Hallie just yeah. got to like, oh, I'm just going to London. Exactly. Yeah. And I say this too when they move. I feel like um, um, Annie, Annie. <laughs> does oh my gosh Luis <laughs> shut up <laughs> Luis has his headphones on in the corner he's grading his papers and he's like trying to beatbox and he can't hear us that's why it's extra funny because he's, he's <laughs> making popping noises <laughs> over there popping pop, noises pop, with his pop, mouth pop, I can't think it's not good <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad anyway <laughs> anyways um I said this you know once they they switch I feel like um whoever goes to Napa Annie mm -hmm. does a better job at playing the part than Hallie in London. Like Hallie in London is uh she's kind of messing up a little bit. Or no, was it the other way around? It was the other way. It around. Way it around. Was the I'm other sorry, way around. it was the other way around. She Hallie was doing okay and and Annie was not convincing at all. They found her out pretty quick. Well, I think it's because well, no, I don't know cuz I feel she like starts yelling in French. I was like, "Girl, oh, right, yeah, yeah. girl, you got to put that French under Get wraps." <laughs> Cut that out. Well, no, it was hard, too, because I feel like if you're a dog person, you'll understand this. But mm. dogs yeah. are very, very intuitive. And when when Annie, as Hallie, gets to the house, their family dog, which she's supposed, supposed to be super close right. to, is like just barking, at her. barking at her because the dog knows it's not her. Right. right? Who's this? Get out of here. <laughs> and she's just kind of like. Hi. And then kind of walks away. And Chessie, their nanny, is like, oh, heck no. Like, like what, what is, is happening here? On? Who is this? <laughs> Because Imposter. I mean, dogs. I mean, they know, and and, you, and she definitely smells different. Like, yeah. no, no doubt. And she didn't, she didn't like love on her puppy. Right. Yeah. And she's saying all kinds of weird stuff. Like, um, gave me a fright. Yeah, gave me a fright. <laughs> gave me a dad, fright. Dad, dad, after every, after dad. every. But sentence. honestly, dad, when dad. I think about it in the grand scheme of things, like. Th it takes some guts to even try to do that and act it's like a very else. impressive I was like I wouldn't be able to do that my goodness their plan well, was to go and method act for, <laughs> for weeks on end I guess for real especially when they meet their other parent for the first time because you think you would be like bawling oh yeah you know what I mean I was like oh my god well and I mean even worse than that I mean this is a matter of national security right, I mean yeah. like <laughs> they're switching passports and stuff oh, <laughs> we're just goodness. pretending yeah, we're just is... going through customs like exactly this is some pretty I'm not British <laughs> I'll, I'll say it's their parents' fault. It's their parents' fault. Why? Because well, they just hide another twin from them. That's oh, insane. oh, oh, yes. oh. I mean, fundamentally, yes. yes the, the, <laughs> I was like, what part? <laughs> the parenting style of, hey, let's just split these twins up and have them never meet each other and know about each other and talk yeah, to well, each other. Yeah, well, the parents ever. were kind of crazy and they just never want to see each other again. So, right, you know. Yeah. I think that that's part of the young like rage that they were in yes. that sh that um the w the mom just got up and left and i think that that was just the best thing for her I was guess. just to i'm just gonna go but it's odd that she just took one baby you know <laughs> that's a little weird like you know what 
Keep that one. <laughs> I got this one. You got yours. I got mine. We're even. I'm going to throw this hair dryer at your face. <laughs> and I'm going to take my one baby. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah. So, they're they're in each other's lives. They're um, attempting to to, 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 to to do fun things with their with their new parents. And, yeah, it, it is weird that having to meet your mom for the first time and you have to do it in a British accent the entire time. That's pretty funny to me. Well, and let's talk about what the parents do because the coolest <laughs> thing about this, at least – now being an adult knowing mm-hmm. like what careers are and things yes like going in and seeing that both parents are super successful, Very successful. They're super cool Holy oh God. yeah they have yeah. cool jobs mm-hmm. so mom is a wedding dress designer yes. in london and she is getting like pretty, pretty famous. famous yeah she, what did she say that I like a princess in greece bought one of her dresses yes. she was in vogue in vogue yes and i read that actually all the designs for the wedding dresses in this movie were actually designed by Vogue. Like they Oh my the gosh, how did. cool is that? Yeah, which is wild. So cool. that's super cool like to be able to say like my mom designs wedding gowns right. and they go to the to the photo the, shoot, the photo shoot and fun. she's helping her kind of come up with ideas mm-hmm. and the hat I like that hat. That was a good and hat. it's also the easiest segue into like, hey, mom, one of those dresses would look good on you too. Right. Yeah, that what was, was your wedding cool. like? Yeah, because they were trying to suss out all this information. Like, wait, what happened to my dad? What happened to my mom? What's mm, going on? Both parents there? are literally like, why do you care all of a sudden? Like, <laughs> they're like, great, here it comes. It's yeah. it's that the talk. It's, yes, <laughs> <laughs> different the talk than uh, other talks. Um, and then the dad, uh, he, he owns a vineyard. Best. Ugh. Which is really, really cool. He's he's all about wine. He's got Flex this wine. huge um, ranch and uh, vineyard with all the all the grapes and all the wines, and he collects them all. And uh, he he seems like a pretty chill dude, you know. Oh, he seems so cool. Yeah. Their house is amazing. It's ranch style, but also like Venetian. Right. Yeah. It's like covered in ivy. They've got like the coolest pool and yeah. just and the coolest butler, nanny, yeah. yes, Chessy. They got horses. They just it's. They live a very cool life. Right, yeah. yeah. And that's why they could send them, you know, all the way to camp. <laughs> that's yeah. right, yeah, across the country. Camp across the country and across the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> across the pond and across <laughs> the country. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, so both of them live very privileged, but also very cool and unique lives. Yes. So it was funny when they saw their, their new life for the first time. I was like, ooh, right. like that would be so cool. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's not like you just like go and going uh, to a normal house oh what you're not showing up in turlock california like hey oh yeah look at the smoky skies (laughs) (laughs) so nice um so as they're getting found out um who gets found out first it's hallie in london no i think chessie finds out yes chessie finds out chessie finds out first but before that we have problem number one oh yeah we missed they're they're trying to get they're trying to find out information about why their parents left because when they're going to have to eventually switch them back, they're going to have to meet again, right? So they're, like, trying to find out all this information and plotting and planning, which they're very good at. Yeah. But we meet... Um, Problem number two. <laughs> dad's current new, girl, girlfriend. new girlfriend, Meredith Blake. Meredith I like how Blake. I remember her full name. Oh, it's Meredith oh, yeah. Blake, so who is the, the worst... The hot young. What is what is her job? She's like she's a, a publicist, publicist. publicist from yeah. San Francisco, mm-hmm. which is close. Yeah, and sh- but more highfalutin in a different way. Correct. Than than uh, his laid back. Yes, Chessie Chess- Chess- immediately doesn't like her and just tells Hallie like, "Oh, well, <laughs> your dad's making a fool of himself." <laughs> like, oh, it's not my problem. Who I choose to right. make it's a fool of It's not my place. Make your own opinions, but she's definitely a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he straight up tells her like, "Oh, sh- you know." She didn't really like him until they were at the bank trying to do some stuff, and then she was all about him. And I was right. like, "Oh, okay." So she, we basically know that she's just marrying him for the money. Right. Yes, yes. Exactly. Um, and <laughs> how, uh, and that there are a million reasons, a million reasons to yes. like him. <laughs> <laughs> a million reasons. <laughs> And pl- plus a few more. Oh, I know. She says that it's just like a million reasons, plus a few more, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. her parents are like, cool. So <laughs> Meredith is evil. She's straight up the most evil person <laughs> in the world. She's like, when I get my hands on these little brats, they're going to a straight off to boarding school in Switzerland. <laughs> she like doesn't and his even assistant really is like, ice cold. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> ice the assistant. cold, baby. And she's like, you know it. <laughs> yeah, so, just so she like immediately like hates the kids. Like She introduces, Dad introduces it, her to Hallie, which is actually Annie um, and immediately is you know if you're a kid meeting your divorced parents boyfriend slash girlfriend you're you're gonna give them crap you are yeah like that's just 
child's nature. Any child I know yeah. would do that. Sure. And so, but I immediately Meredith is like so offended. She's like, Ugh. I'm attractive and how could you you like basically like how could she say this to me you're going to boarding school <laughs> I was like calm down woman Jeez. right yeah and she's like she talks to them like just in such a different she literally is like Corella she's like playing two sides right she's all nice around the dad and then she's like tells the kids straight up like just mean stuff I hate I'm you like, oh, geez. <laughs> right yeah it's funny, Hate though, it. because as the story progresses, um, it gets more and more heated, right? Because mm -hmm. in the beginning, it's not too bad. Right. Like, she's just like, stay out of my like way. Like, a little bit catty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as it goes, it gets more and more like, you are going to boarding school. Right, well, yes. and it gets it gets worse, especially when you we think about it. She's been gone at camp for eight weeks, which mm -hmm. means dad's probably been dating Meredith for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, we find out they're engaged, which is bad, right? Of course, that ruins their plan. But then it's even worse because freaking Meredith is like, we get married in two weeks. Two trying to weeks. get that money today, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a 10-week relationship. That's how she was quickly. Andre, is that why you guys are getting married in two weeks? We are getting married no money. We just had this weeks. conversation. <laughs> Andre, <laughs> she's trying to marry you in two weeks from she's today. To True, I am getting married in two weeks. All of my money, which is <laughs> not that much. <laughs> she's <laughs> trying to get all 344 you got. That's $3.44. <laughs> it was and so, 44 cents. <laughs> so funny because we were talking about how they're just getting married for money, and we both looked at each other. We were like, we get married for money, so yeah. we good. Yeah. <laughs> we get married for that L O V E. L, L is for <laughs> the way you look at me. me. Oh jeez. Anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so that's just awful already. I mean, I mean, it was longer than the other relationship he got married to. So yeah, he he's yeah, a fast true. he's a fast roller. For right, being you can such tell a he just falls dude. in love easy. He's one of those, or is it love? I guess we'll talk about that on Crack in the Vault. But <laughs> yeah, I guess. But yeah. like, um. <laughs> Yeah, you think that from his first failed quick engagement that he would, you know, kind of hold off on those very short. You can tell he's a romantic, though. He's a romantic. He's he probably assumes he's getting older. This very young sure. girl, attractive girl is interested in him. And I think that he really uh, there is no doubt in my mind that he wants to be a really good dad yes. to Hallie and that he probably wants her to have some kind of um, parental uh, figure. Yeah. I'm just like, Even she don't need nobody. She got Chessie. Yeah, Chessie is in the house, okay? Oh, Chessie <laughs> is for sure the mom. <laughs> she she don't she don't need nobody. <laughs> Chessie's wonderful. I love her. Ugh, I love Cooking Chessie. her good food all the time. It gives them cornbread and chili any Cornbread day. and chili. I know. Big old stack of chocolate chip pancakes. Adopt toast, me. <laughs> bacon, eggs, mm -hmm. toast. Oh, that was really funny when uh, the dad is explaining to, to Hallie that he's gotten engaged and, oh, and Allie, <laughs> Allie's like oh I know I know what's happening you're gonna adopt Meredith <laughs> and I think she like I, I like I was thinking about it like okay maybe she was saying it like as a prank but I really think she did because she's well I know she didn't really think she was gonna adopt her yeah but well, the way she reacted after that was like what like <laughs> right, I think yeah. she didn't expect that to come out of well, his mouth well cause he goes I, I want I would like to make Meredith a part of this family <laughs> and then she goes oh I totally get it dad you wanna adopt <laughs> Meredith and he was like sister. yeah no <laughs> no <laughs> you're not getting a sister you're getting She's a mom like, I've always wanted a big sister <laughs> 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 that was one of the funniest things as an adult yeah. now like Hilarious. oh my god I'm adopt this 26 year old <laughs> <laughs> which is a kid I didn't think it was funny because that was old to right, me yeah. right as like a 10 year old but now it's like <laughs> that's freaking hilarious are you 26 I feel I'm like 26 See? no no am you're I turning tw you're 25 I'm 25 I'm turning 26 you're not 26. even there you could be still adopted by Dennis Quaid no, I could <laughs> that would be bad but it would be weird <laughs> Well, he's sorry, he's Steve Hurst. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Daddy Quaid. Daddy Quaid. Daddy Quaid. Wine Daddy. Um, <laughs> A wine Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andre. Poor Andre and his little cough. So, uh, as that's happening, Hallie in London is also getting found out because she's making like secret phone calls over to Annie and Napa, and she yeah. goes out to the. Uh, uh, the the phone box. She runs outside to the well, phone box. Well, my favorite thing is no. My favorite part is before that when they're at dinner and she's like, "Can I have a sip of that?" Like the oh, wine. Oh, sip of the wine. Yes. And she's like smelling it. She swirls it. She takes a sip. She's, she's ruminating on it. Yeah. Like it's a little bit fruitier than a Merlot, but you and know. And even it's grandpa's good. like, "Did she take wine classes at <laughs> camp?" Yeah. Like, okay. They got sommelier classes for the eleven-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hilarious. So she falls over because she sees like the nine-one-one fax. Hilarious. That um, 
Marvin Martin, Martin. is holding. Uh, yeah, so she runs out to the phone booth, calls Annie, and is like, Mayday, Mayday, what's going on? You know, so they figure it out. And as soon as she comes out of the phone booth, Grandpa's there, and he's like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> and I, I, I told Andre it's funny that I, I immediately don't think the parents would be the first to find out because – they're probably not the most observant. Like, Chessie, that made sense. The dog gave it away, too, a little bit. Mm-hmm. But Grandpa also made sense. Yes. He would find it out. Right. I thought, because I couldn't particularly remember that part, I thought it was Martin. But, mm-hmm. I mean, Martin obviously knew something because right. he got the facts. But yes. he's going to be more, he has more discretion because he's the butler. He's the butler, yeah. Um, and he loves her so much. Mm-hmm. So he's going to, like, maybe cover for her. Right. But Grandpa was like, oh, heck no. <laughs> like, I need to know what's happening we here. Gotta, we got to disperse this information so and it's also different how it plays out on both sides so chessy knows but doesn't make he doesn't make her tell her dad yeah she so doesn't make she, annie tell no, dennis Quaid. she's just right. like i don't know anything and even Mar- uh martin knows uh, i'm sorry not well martin finds out through grandpa but grandpa took it a different he was like just go tell her yeah you need you to know? tell so, your mom and that was probably more the proper he's like okay go tell her you know so he does, and then Martin, like, literally hysterically crying is the best. He's like, ah, so <laughs> He's, He's like, like, this is the best day of my life. Really? Because we're assuming these butlers have been in their lives, like, forever. So they've probably seen all of this play out. You know what I mean? So Well, and Chessie even says, like, she, like, quotes, like, her birth weight and everything. Right, yeah. She's like, I know when you brought you home, oh, yeah, I exactly. love you. So you got to assume Martin was there, too, or at mm-hmm. least since she was, like, an infant. Right, yeah. yeah exactly. Been around for a while. It's literally so hilarious. Long stay. You know what was also job. hilarious? We didn't talk, talk about this, but when <laughs> Meredith is, like, sitting on quote unquote Nikki's lap and she like opens this little box and it has a bell in it. Oh my god. And she's god. like Oh my god. Jesse 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 like calling her like a dog with a bell. Jesse's like WTF is going on. <laughs> like she's like so done. Like oh God so done. Oh. So anyways I, I And he and Dennis Quaid just looks at her and is like Please, Please get this drink for me. I'm getting so it, it's, it's funny that the ones on board, like they're on board to have the parents meet, but one parent knows. So mom knows she's going to meet dad. Dad does not know when he goes to this hotel that mom is going to be there. Right. So but they mom has both sides. But still. mom only has the idea that they're they're going back to California to switch just to kids. swap. Yeah. Yeah, but then she becomes a hot mess, dude. Hot she mess. She gets a truck on the airplane. Immediately. <laughs> she's smoking. She's got her curlers in her hair. She's Before she even gets that's on the airplane, right, yeah. that's my favorite scene. When she's in her bedroom with Martin. She and has her cigarette on her little thing, and she's like, oh, my God. Just Martin, like, have you ever seen me like this? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> and then it, it, and she's like, Martin, will you just come with me? And he's like, yes. <laughs> and then he puts on his stinking leather jacket he's got going on. Puts his sunglasses on. He's ready for California. And before that, he says the funniest line in the movie. He goes, he goes, if I was meeting my ex for 11, after 11 years and I had your legs, I'd wear this little number. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulls out like this. Skinny it's not black skanky, dress. but right, it's no. like super no, it's just sexy like black night, dress. Yeah, it's just like a little black dress, which I thought was so <laughs> fun. He's like, he's like, you want me to be your friend? I'll be your friend. Like, a friend. <laughs> literally hilarious. Yeah, so then they're all off and then the... Go into uh, the hotel in San Francisco. <laughs> but the only reason dad's going to the hotel in San Francisco is because they're looking at it for a wedding venue. Right. Yes. So in two weeks. They have a wedding venue to plan in for they two got weeks. A, they oh got a wedding gosh. to plan, you know. So they trick. They don't trick dad into going because he was going to go no. there anyways. They just trick mom into going. So then they're all here. And I love when they're first in the hotel because it's like they almost meet. They don't. They right. almost like this they're is the most complex scene each in the other movie and stuff. Where they just keep missing and each other. And then the dog smells the Hallie and it's like, What? Like, let's go yes. get her. It's, it's, it, great. it's really good, too, because you, you constantly see one member of either the family or or the butler or the nanny or whatever constantly walking by. And so they're like, Hallie, Annie, weren't you just wearing a different shirt? Right. And it's just so <laughs> funny because they're both in yellow mm-hmm. and white. So and the only it's, ones it's who know are the butlers. Outfit. So they're yes. like, ah, ah, <laughs> like trying to like help them. Like, oh, no. <laughs> they're like, is this actually Annie? It doesn't even matter. Go upstairs. Right, like, I don't yeah. even care who you don't are. Just get out of the way. Chessie's like, just do what your mom says. <laughs> like, I don't care which one you are. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, hilarious. And all it's just the icing on top of the cake is that mom is plastered. Literally <laughs> has never had vodka in her life and was like chugging vodka in the S- plane and on the car ride there. So poor Hallie's funny. like, oh, no. What did I do to my mom? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so nervous. good. Nervous oh my gosh, it is so bad. So then. <laughs> mom sees dad in the elevator like making out with Meredith and I love this scene because you know the first look okay like they're they're saying mom is saying it's so embarrassing but I literally think it's so cute because Dennis Quaid is just like leaning over like as the elevator door is closing he's like oh my god oh my god look at that oh my god he is trying to get all the eyes on her he is losing his mind and she's just like you know like with her fingers like hello (laughs) <laughs> oh, I love and I love the other f- first look too, like with Dennis Quaid freaking falling in the pool. Into the Brilliant. pool, yes. That was oh funny. my! So they're both gosh. equally embarrassing, and then that also like ties into the fact that they're both still smitten, right, With yeah. each other. Years oh, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come on. They had just they had just done it too fast when they first met, apparently. Because like, if they had just stuck it out, then they probably would have ended up. And fine it seems like together. Dad has maybe had some girlfriends, but like nothing serious. Right. But I don't think mom has seen anyone because I remember Annie being like, what? No, mom doesn't exactly. do that. Like, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like so that. it's just so funny because they the moment from when they see each other until the very end, there is no doubt that they still. If not even what they would call love mm. is they're like you said, they're just smitten. They're just smitten. Yeah. Just like, they're oh, just wow. so. And I'm trying to think of like Look this first one. very passionate, infatuous marriage you had and you ended it so quick. And then 11 years, years later, you see them again. Like that's going to be your first reaction. Yeah. You're going right. to be like, oh, my God, what are they doing here? Oh, my God. And you're going to freak out anytime you s- see your ex in well, a place. You know what I mean? And it's so cute, though, because they're both like worried about what they look like. Uh-huh. Do I look good? Am I presentable? Do I look young? Like, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I need to know. But for I, I, I love the juxtaposition because, I mean, you can tell um, dad is, like, cool with Meredith. Like, he, he's more just like, okay, like, let's do this thing. But as soon as he sees his ex-wife, like, literally his face, the rest of the movie is so stinking happy. Like, the mm-hmm. way he smiles uh, every time he looks at her and his like, eyes. Hey. And I'm like, good acting, sir. Good acting yeah. because I, it was There's no doubt believable. that he loves her. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's, like, smitten Fully immediately. Well, and you know what's really funny about this movie is then how before Meredith gets the 411 on who <laughs> Elizabeth, the ex-wife, is... Mm-hmm. They meet at the bar. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's so funny to me because it just adds a little extra is, layer. Yeah, there's, that's why we're saying there's so many intertwined things, but it's so great. Oh, so, my God, you're uh, Elizabeth James. You design dresses. I love your dress. I, I, want, ju- I just called your office. She's sitting there, like, burping, drinking some <laughs> tomato <laughs> drink. It's so embarrassing. Because she's so hungover, and she's, like, trying to sober up mm-hmm. because she now knows that she's Nick's so in the hotel. She's so embarrassed, yeah. And, and then <laughs> Meredith is just smitten by her because she wants her to make her wedding dress to marry her ex-husband. Yeah, so that's when they get to the pool, she's like, "Wait, what? You guys you know each back? other?" Like, I'm not like, "Yeah." You know each and other? then the best is when she sees the two girls and she just starts screaming. Ah! She's like, ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! "I'm like, oh, calm down, woman. That's just how you want to react to uh, there being twins." Um, so good. We need to back it up though to when uh, Martin and Chessie meet. Marvin, Martin, sorry. Oh yeah. When Martin and Chessie meet, do they first meet Martin is in a speedo. He's in his speedo. That's right. And they're <laughs> in, in the, the hotel, hotel room. room. He's like, I'm going for dinner, mom. Is that is that fine? <laughs> Actually, she sees him and she's like, What are you doing? <laughs> and then she realizes because the on speedo vacation. is on vacation. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is cool. He came to California to <laughs> party <laughs> in San Francisco. Yeah, dip in the pool. So with then his he chest runs into Chessie out. and they're immediately like, Oh. <laughs> funny meet man in the speedo for the first time that's not what i would be thinking i'd be thinking like what what is going on <laughs> well here? he turns around a couple times i'm like yeah his butt cheeks are out hey man but they <laughs> are out. yeah you know what Mar- <laughs> martin was doing his thing he was ready to party i, I was mean, shipping martin and jesse very hard upon this viewing like i don't think i ever like acknowledged it when i was watching it as a younger no, kid but this it? time i was like yes <laughs> get them two because together i now. love them so much individually and they're great, they're great. Oh. together it's together even more funny fantastic. god they're so good and they're even by the pool together they're like sitting by the pool mm-hmm. together there there's one like it's just very vague it's in the background but martin's like rubbing sunscreen on her back <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh already they're like Woo. Mm. they're already they're already ready to get married yeah, exactly Freaking love it just dropping coffee everywhere it's fine guys oh, well you know it's better than when you dropped pho all over my floor so True. We're, we're good we yeah. don't speak of that oh, <laughs> you sp- don't speak of it <laughs> we speak of it <laughs> Um, oh my gosh! So what's happening after yeah, that? Yeah, what happens is Meredith freaks out and she just goes back to her hotel room, <laughs> and apparently, grandfather chipped in money 
for this, which I think is so funny that Grandpa was in on it too. Oh, I for know. For them to rent this yacht for the parents to have dinner with. Yep. Without them, they're just literally spying on their parents, having a romantic dinner. They tried to recreate the first night they met on their cruise boat. And poor Martin and Chessie are having to serve them as well. I wouldn't say like, poor. I think right. they were all a bit. They were, they were very happy to do it. But they were also it. like, they're like, please don't, don't fire, fire us. for listening <laughs> to young children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it was, was cute great. though. You could tell that they wanted to be in on it, but they also wanted a good scapegoat with those kids. Yes. Like, <laughs> and it's f- so funny because like they're they're like talking to each other about the kids, and they're like, "Well, yeah, we we, we just had to not see each other." And like, "Well, what should we do now? We should probably like maybe you take them for half a year, and I take them for half a year." And Jesse's standing there like, mm, "That's not gonna work. <laughs> Can't have them go to two schools." <laughs> I don't like that. I, I think that's like really unhelpful. I don't think that's gonna work here. <laughs> like, Jesse, could you do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, 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 yeah, I guess I'm not in this conversation. That's right. I'm not part of this relationship. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> it's precious, though, because then they have this very lovely dinner uh-huh. or two on the back of this cruise ship. Um, but they realize, well, Elizabeth is always the problem. Yes. I mean, not problem, but she's the one who's the most like. She's holding off. Yes. Um, you find out a little bit. You find out more about their relationship here that they right. that they had their you know, they were young, mm-hmm. they had their, their anger issues or whatever, and that she kind of just got up and left one day. Right. She just couldn't handle it anymore. I and guess. Dennis Quaid never really knew why. Like he that's what he wanted to know on the cruise ship. Like why why did you leave? And she it was so sweet because she couldn't like tell him. Right. Like not like there was something huge reason. It's just that it was almost like I loved you too much to, it was to too fight much with you. Too fast, yeah. You know? Um so then she says, okay, well, let's just put on a good face for the girls and then we'll we'll just make this we'll work. We'll go our separate ways, but they'll be able to see each other and <sighs> la-di-da. So then it cuts to the next morning. Everyone's about to leave the hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, Mom is apparently leaving with Annie, the correct daughter. <laughs> um, Dennis Quaid is going to leave with Hallie, Hallie, the correct daughter, and those two come out again, being little, wearing the same exact thing and doing each other's accents. Like, hey, you don't know which one of us is which one because we <laughs> look exactly the same. Good luck taking the right daughter home, suckers. <laughs> and it's hilarious because it is good. Yes. Which I mean, now knowing that it's both Lindsay Lohan, like as an adult, because like I said, as a kid, right. I didn't, didn't know. I didn't know, but. Now it's obvious, like that's hilarious because Dennis Quaid's like, I know exactly which one, and he this looks. This one's Hallie. He looks at her, and then he's like, uh, <laughs> because they do such a good job, and like you said, they're intertwining their accents and stuff, and so they con them again, uh-huh. straight up con them again, <laughs> into going on this camping trip that they already talked about. But at this point, they're both kind of like fighting it a little less hard than. Than you know, meeting up. I think for the oh, first time. Oh well, she's already there. Uh-huh. They've already gotten past the initial like, what? Like, like the, yeah. the surprise. Oh well, I guess we have to go on this camera trip because I guess made the thing us. I like about the rest of this movie too is like I already feel like they're just a family again. Yes. Like they're already just like conning their parents, and their parents are like, oh god, well now we got to go on this camping trip. Guess we're going on a family camping trip, mm-hmm. and it's just like normal, but mm-hmm. also like not normal. Yeah. If you think about it, but even mom is like handling it well at that point. She's like. I think in her mind, she's like, Meredith ain't gonna last. And then <laughs> mom cons Meredith into going on this camping trip, which is my favorite. Get it, mom. It's brilliant. Well, and that's it. why I think this is so funny is that it's a continual, like, trip up until the end. Like, yeah. they continually oh. are... Are he even <laughs> says, like, mom, like, daughter. <laughs> like, I just don't like your mom. He says that, which is so hilarious. Because that was, the, that was the twins' contingency. They said, if you if we go on this four-person camping trip, then at the end of the trip, we will tell you who is who, yep. and we will go back to our respective countries, I yes, guess. Houses. Um, and I don't know what their plan was with that. Maybe they were just thinking mom and dad will fall in love on the camping trip, yeah. I yeah, guess. exactly. But, you know, even their plan gets... A little torn. They're like, no. Because Meredith comes in and she's like, what's happening? You're going on the camping trip with them? I don't think so, ex-wife. Well, right, well rightfully so. I mean, yeah. if I was Meredith, I would be pretty PO yeah, that like yeah, the yeah. ex-wife and the two kids are now like all going to go on this camping and trip. And so right. Liz like even understands kind of, but also like cons Meredith into going. She's like, yeah, I get it. That's why you're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> and Chessie's like, ooh, I'll pay good money to see that woman <laughs> climb a mountain, which is so... <laughs> Funny, and then I think Mom and Chessie were just like hanging out. Yeah, man, they must have just been know? having a grand old time. They were chilling. The well, also Chessie and Martin went on a picnic and didn't come oh, back, yeah, didn't back till the next day, day for so. a day and a half. Hey now, you know, and they aren't on this camping trip long. They're on there for one day, one day, yeah, one one day. day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. because Meredith's true Meredith colors come hang. out and can't handle 
can't handle some kid pranks, but let's be real, those are some intense kid pranks. But she pranks. also couldn't just, she couldn't handle camping in general. No. Like, well, that yeah, was and I, you could tell dad is kind of like a wilderness guy. I mean, he lives in Napa. Sure. Like, you could tell he likes this kind of stuff. Well, he likes to be outdoors. Uh-huh. Like, he's trying to be understanding. He's like, girls, go easy on her. Like, it's not her thing. But right. he's also like, oh, well, here's like the, a little bit. Here's you know? the problem breakdown. The Prada she comes out in her, with her Prada back. Yes. She comes out with her sports bra mm-hmm. and her, her, um, leggings. her leggings and her tennis shoes. And she's not like, no sunscreen, no, like, she's not no ready to camp. She no. is ready to go, like, do Zumba or right. cycle or something. <laughs> exactly. And so she's got her Prada bag and they start. You can you can tell they parked somewhere and then they brought all of their equipment to hike to a yes. lake and then set up camp. So it's not like they drove to the campsite. No, they 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 hiked. They hiked they down hiked to there. It. So they're hiking down this mountain to get closer to the lake, and that's where the pranks begin. And just are messing with Meredith oh so God. much. She's tired. She can't get down the mountain because it is rocky. Yeah. Like it would take you some time. But she's like, I hate my trainer. He <laughs> said I'm in good shape, right. and I'm obviously not. Yeah. So she sets her backpack down, and one of them, who God who who knows, knows, I don't know. Point. <laughs> it was Hallie. <laughs> Michelle says Hallie, but I don't know. They both are. It was Hallie. She was pre- freaking putting rocks in her backpack she like a jerk. <laughs> like big rocks, too, in <laughs> big every pocket. Big rocks. So that it's harder for her, obviously. Uh-huh. She then. <laughs> She puts the lizard on the. <laughs> that's why. The that's why I think it was Hallie because Hallie just saw the lizard and was like, "Ooh, I, I don't think I don't think Annie would have done that." So she puts. Uh, she's asking. She's like, "Give me my Evian or whatever." And Hallie's like, "Sure thing, Mare." And she puts <laughs> the lizard on her water bottle, which I remember this part. I used to get so excited when this part <laughs> would come on because I don't know why. As a kid, it's freaking hilarious. Oh, it's so and funny. And it's just brilliant, right? So she sees the lizard. She starts screaming. I'm she throws out. her stuff. And even dad at this point, she's like, what is it? And she was like, oh, was this little guy was on her bottle. And dad's like, okay, oh, okay. It's, not like, gonna, on. Yeah. it's not going to kill you. But then she's a jerk even then. Again, Mayor tells her to put it down. She's like, yeah, I'll put it down right on your head. <laughs> I was like, geez, Hallie. Like, uh, like they're kind of jerks, too. Oh, they oh, are. for sure. But it's also adorable. So I'm like, oh, eh, whatever. Because, you know, Meredith is Cruella anyway. So who cares? Well, and the best part is she immediately takes the, the, the thing, off, the lizard. lizard off the water bottle. Then puts it on her head and it's a good like amount of interaction mm-hmm. between Merida Merida Meredith Merida. and the kids before anyone before. realizes That's when she gets really evil too she's like I will send <laughs> both of you brats off to boating school and you will never see me or your father again right and they're just like uh-huh sure okay. Cruella <laughs> like <laughs> think oh, you got some on your head <laughs> and then Hallie's like I think there's something like on your head and she starts looking for it, which as a woman, and I'm going to say as a woman, I guess it could be a male too, but I have hair. Andre, you don't have hair. You wouldn't not. know the difference. If there was a, if there was a lizard on, head, on my head, I'd feel, feel it, it. for sure. Know. But like when someone's like, there's something in your hair, I get panicky. Like, mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah, right? she's just very calmly like touching so, her head. So no. she's like touching her head and she finally feels that the lizard crawls down her face <laughs> and then goes into her mouth, into her <laughs> freaking mouth which like what are the odds that that are happening and i think about it as an adult like obviously it's like an animated lizard at that point you know but she's just like with it in her mouth i'm like get it out of your mouth (laughs) like grab it and literally like why are you but it's funner that it's in there for five seconds (laughs) yeah like legit for like five (laughs) seconds i'm like why are you letting the lizard stay in your mouth you freaking idiot (laughs) god so stupid so i love it though and so yes then they hike to the camp they, they mess continue her up their again. pranks. They're like, they're like, hey, <laughs> Meredith, look, is, Meredith is clicking sticks to not hit the, <laughs> hit the lions. mountain lions. Oh, well, also they put like sugar water in her bug spray thing. I'm telling you, I learned a lot about what not to do on a camping exactly, trip from this yeah. movie. Don't put then, sugar on your skin. Honestly, one of the pranks wasn't even their fault. It's not even a prank. It's just they're catching trout and eating it, and she's like refusing to eat. I don't eat trout. I don't know she's why. like, I will just wait until breakfast. What will we be having? And everyone in unison, trout. trout. <laughs> <laughs> Better so get on good. the trout train, girl. You got, you're going to not eat for the next four days. Exactly. Um, yeah, she is. she's not trying at all, no. which makes it extra... I mean, it makes the next couple of events pretty obvious yeah. the way that it's going to go. She's trying to glamp. And yeah, and she's... not having it. No, and, and Dennis Quaid's like... He's not really having it at this point no, either. He's, he's like, like, come on. She's an idiot. Get she, it well, 
he's also because at this point she's not trying right so right. like you she's like yelling she's like getting like you know like fed up even her hair is all frazzled you know because she's just like a hot mess yeah, and this he's is some like, stuff you would find out if you were in a relationship for more than two months no, <laughs> with a person. Quaid. Yeah. this is some good relationship advice married. for everyone go on a camping trip with go someone on camp- go on all kinds of <laughs> situations with your spouse and see at how least, you handle it at together. least stay a couple nights like in a hotel together <laughs> then you'll know if you no, can't man, she could handle hotels right. she, um, she can't hotel, handle no tent yeah. but i appreciate the fact that they were in separate tents because that's what they makes the next part Oh, so funny. She's like, I'm taking a huge sleeping pill and I'm going to sleep. And the the girls are like, perfect. (laughs) (laughs) They did maniacal raccoon hands (laughs) and they were ready. Yeah, so they just freaking pull her and her air mattress out into the middle of the lake. (laughs) Once again, being straight up jerks. So Mary That is the funniest the thing. funniest thing so as a kid good. I'm telling you I think that's why no this funniest as an adult oh, I was right, dying yeah. <laughs> but I, that's why I think this movie is so engaging because all of these <laughs> things happen I'm like this is great this is even greater this is great too like but as a kid watching it was so fun and I was a little worried it wasn't gonna hold up oh, when right. I watched it this time that I was like oh do I want to watch this god it was so stinking good it's really I, good I'm showing my future children this movie like <laughs> immediately oh yeah like for sure it's a great movie um, yeah, so she just wakes up. This bird's like pecking her. She's like, oh, Nikki, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you noticed this because I, I asked Louise, I'm like, can you see the mosquito bites on her neck? Oh, but I yeah. literally that. could see like splotches yeah. where she had like all the like the bites and stuff. So she was like not she happy. Was miserable. Yeah. And this bird is pecking her. And then she realizes she's in she's the lake. And she wakes up in the lake and then she falls into the lake. And dad is just like, oh, great. And he looks at the girls. But I think at this point, he's already like kind of over her. Oh, yeah. So then like, then obviously, she with an ultimatum. when she gives him an ultimatum, he's like, nah, like I'm going to pick my kid. No, right. it, no. It, but it's so brilliantly written. Like the yeah. the, the uh, way she dialogue it, here. She's, she's like, like, we're going to ship them off. Or something like she literally tells him at that point, like we're sending them to boarding school. And she's like, and it's either us or it's excuse me. It's either me or them. You choose. And he's like, well, them, them. <laughs> like, she's immediately like, wait, what? <laughs> too. And she's like, are, are you kidding me? And he's like, yeah, them. T.H. E M them. them. <laughs> and then she literally just starts screaming like a child. And this is when I realized how young she is too. She's like, <laughs> like, very funny it, like it like zooms out to the forest and you can like hear the screams from everywhere. <laughs> Fantastic. So funny. And so then dad is like, oh, dang, these kids are grounded, right? For right. all this crap they've done. But so the they funny immediately thing is you do home. not see her again. No, like, from it. that moment, the rest she's, of gone. Movie, she's called gone. in a private jet to get her <laughs> booty out of her. <laughs> he I guess dropped her off at, like, the airport. Yeah. 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 So they come back, and mom, mom's like, oh, where's Mare? No, she's like, why are you back? You guys back? are back so soon. <laughs> yeah, back. And then she does say, like, where's Mare? And then he's like, the kids are grounded. Like, he literally tells her, like, they're grounded. But then he also says, I'm going to have to thank him one day. Yeah, well, and, or I'll he shows her the later. ring like, she threw this at my head, but it's better than a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Good thing she didn't throw that rock back back at his head. <laughs> at least dad can joke about it already, too. So it's, yeah. I just want to okay. know that she left those rocks in her backpack until after she got home. <laughs> and she's unpacking. She and then she finds the rocks. Screams like, again. <laughs> <laughs> in like, San Francisco. Oh, socks. Socks. She's never going to date a man with children ever again. Right, uh, yeah. That was like, her. ever. That was so funny. Gosh, hilarious. So then... Uh, Kids are grounded in their room. They're just playing poker together. Yes. But and then, uh, daddy takes mommy down yes. to the... Dad and the, mom are... The private wine reserve. They're, they're romancing pretty hard. Yeah. And... Uh, they're very romantic. And like, and, like, I guess it's, like, not, like, knowingly. He's not like, hey, you want to go on a date with me and eat pasta and go down to my wine cellar? No. And something like that, but... But no, he's trying to show her like his wor- what he does. Right, yeah. yeah, really. He's like, and this is she's you know, very impressed. He's like, I don't only own a, a vineyard; like, I collect wine too. Mm-hmm. And he's just showing her things like, oh, you'll be impressed by this one. And she's like, that's really cool. And he wasn't even going to show her those other ones. I don't think she asked. She's like, what's this one? And he's like, mm-hmm. oh, oh, that's the 1983. Wine. Which That's the wine we drank at our wedding. Took me forever to find, and by the way, I own every single bottle. I own every bottle of this ever made. 
I literally Bro. was, I started tearing up. I was like, that's so cute. And the fact that she didn't make out with him right then and there, I was like, this woman has the will of a god. She could be <laughs> well, a green lantern. Fortitude. Well, and that's what he tells her. He's like, you don't always have to be so brave because you could tell she's fighting it. She's like, Ugh. she's fighting it hard. But it's so <laughs> precious because she's like, yes, I do. And you, and in her, in her, her, like, kids. you could just see it's like she was in the, like, most turmoil yes. right there. Like she like, wanted uh, to love him also, so hard. Yeah, but also I think about they live 3,000 miles away. So she's like, yeah, I got to be brave, it's dude. Difficult. I have to go back to London. I have a job there. They both are like living their dreams. You right. know what I mean? So he tries to kiss her and she's like, no. She, she like backs, backs away, which is fine. And then it just is sad because it starts pouring rain and they're all saying goodbye and Chessie's crying. Martin's crying. And everybody's crying. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> Everyone's trying to love on each other. And then other. when it cuts to London, it's raining. It's also too. raining there. I'm like, no, nah, it's also raining there. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> which is... I feel like it rains there a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it Pretty does. Lo- it does rain in London a <laughs> but lot. But still, why? I got to rain. Right. Rain. Oh, there's rain. The music choices in this movie are very good. I can't remember what song's playing then, but there's just a lot of good music. Oh, all the music. Like, everything th- fits every scene There so wasn't well. a song where I was like, we didn't not right, good. Right, it doesn't fit. It, it was all very good. Oh, yeah, they had a whole Beatles uh, moment there because yeah. they, they're like walking across like the Abbey Road yeah. or whatever. And it it was yeah, every, every, every music thing fit perfectly. Yes. But um, lo and behold, she thinks it's Grandpa behind the newspaper, but it ain't. It's Hallie. It's Hallie. They beat them there on the Concord. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's a super fast plane that can get you to London Well, from Dad probably has a lot California. of money, and he was like, oh, we got to speed our butts and down to London. Let's go. He was like, I ain't going to let her get away again, which is super cute and romantic. I liked that it wasn't like an airport meetup because right, I always yes. hate that in movies yeah. when it's like, no, don't go. Don't go don't and go, then the whole go, airport's plane. like, you're holding up our plane, can right? We, can we go to Tucson, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for here, oh, you don't mean Tucson? <laughs> Tucson. <laughs> so basically, dad's like, I'm not going to let you get away again. And she's like, how are we going to do a... A cross continental relationship. He's like, I don't know, baby. We're gonna figure it out. Yep. Which I, I, I kind of want to know, like, what they do. I mean, they show them getting married again yeah. on the on, on the, the Queen boat, Mary. Yes. I don't know if they get married immediately or if they like have some time. I'm sure they had some time because they had to figure out what the heck they were gonna do. Right. Well, Luis was so funny. He's like, I know exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna go back and they're gonna live in Napa, but they're gonna keep the house in London because she, that's right next to SFO. So he, she can just jump right. on the plane, go to London, do her stuff, hang out with Grandpa come back <laughs> Martin and Chessie Gra- chilling like it's exactly. all good I, I was like I wonder if Martin because Martin uh, they show at the end that they get as they get married Martin proposes to, to Chessie. Chessie oh my god I was god. like where are they gonna live they're gonna go live in London because that'd be cool and I feel like Chessie would probably go to London and Heck live in yeah, that she house would. She'd yeah. Like, yeah she's like bye it's Parkers. so interesting because like Cause both, cause of, like both of their jobs are so intertwined with their, those families so I guess they just and you keep know what happens what you know what's gonna happen is she's going to sell him a wedding dress and then be like, by the way, my husband sells wine. You can get it catered for your wedding. Boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, they they so got much the money. Up. Like, would you like to get married at a vineyard in Napa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Boom. Mm-hmm. I'd get married there. Man, that place was great. <laughs> Take those easy. horses, too. Nice. So f- Take the horses, the too. Horses. And then, and then the, the best song comes on, which is also going to be one of Andre. Uh, this is going to be the song that when we kiss. That's going to play after. This will be. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whatever I, have to in love. So I read a fun way. fact about that and that the L-O-V-E song in the beginning is sing, sung by Nat Cole. And then the Nat King this Cole. Nat King Cole. And then the This Will Be song is sung by Natalie Cole, his daughter. Mm-hmm. That was cool. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Fun, right? Mm-hmm. That's great. Good I stuff. It. I always sing about Nat King Cole from my Christmas music. Mm-hmm. Put on Christmas Pandora. It's always Nat King Cole. It is the Nat King Cole a lot. It's Love it. It's cool. You want to hear some other fun facts about this movie? Yes. yes. So apparently in the original movie, the 61 version, the twins weren't named Hallie and Annie, um, but they changed them. Obviously in this movie, both played by Lindsay Lohan. Uh-huh. They're the names of the director and producer's real life daughters, Hallie right. Annie. Who are both in the actual movie. Right. right. So they both show up. Hmm. Um, At the camp? No, they both show up. Um, just in separate cameos, but Annie plays the towel girl who brings Elizabeth the first aid kit mm-hmm. um, when oh, okay. Dennis Quaid falls in the water. And Hallie plays the girl. Oh, you're right, at Cab Walden, who asks where the Navajo bunk is. So right. she was the oh, she was a little one. Mm-hmm. Um, camp Walden is actually based on an existing camp in Denmark, Maine. So that could have maybe been maybe that's like, where it was. Could yeah, be where they filmed it. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, this is really funny. Um, so Joanna Barnes, this that was the actress who played the wicked girlfriend in the sixty one version. Right, Meredith. I don't I don't know if her name was Meredith in that version. I'm not sure but either. whatever. Th- this lady was then the wicked girlfriend's mom in this version. You can so th- call me Aunt Vicky. Yes. Yeah, so oh that, my god, that was so bad. That lady is the one who played the original, the original Meredith in the really other cool. movie. Which is super funny. Um and then there was a couple other scenes that they f- that they cut, and I'm actually kind of happy that they did because yeah. it would have been too kitschy. But there was like one where Hallie meets like the Queen. Yeah, what? They're, they're like showing up in London, and before they get to the house, she like rolls up in front of the Queen at the at the Royal Palace, and she's trying to mess with the guards. And then the Queen comes out, and then they have like a little uh, tête-à-tête where she doesn't know whether to curtsy or bow or something like that. And then the oh, queen's I'm like, I'll they... never tell. And then it goes off. I'm very happy they cut right? that. Right. Like, it's just kind of stuff like where it was it was so good and succinct that I'm glad that they cut that out. Exactly, yeah. Um, but then there was one other one. There was one other one. No, I can't remember what the other one. Mm. It's okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I know the other one. Um, the... Let's... G- um, when Hallie, I think it is, getting is getting into the elevator at the... Um, at the, the hotel. hotel in San Francisco. Um, she's singing. She's just like singing to herself, like humming. And she sings Let's Get Together. Let's get oh, together. Oh, yeah. Which, is, which is from the original movie. And they actually sang it um, right. in uh, the movie. The, the, mm. the two twins. The twins. Gonna have some fun. Which they did have a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's such Let's a good movie, together. guys. I love it. I think Andre was surprised with the budget on this movie. Yeah, dude. Uh, so I was thinking that like, with the multiple locations they're shooting in London and Napa and possibly that main place as well. And they Dennis shoot multiple Quaid. locations. They got Dennis Quaid, who's a pretty big name at the time, I believe. And then they got like all of this licensed music that they're using throughout the movie. I was like, oh, this is probably like a hundred twenty million dollar movie that they had to make. It cost fifteen million dollars. Pretty low budget Disney film. And they're using all that the uh, Lohan technology. I guess they didn't pay her double for playing two roles. No. She a kid, they don't pay care. Her once. Yeah, I guess. Introducing. Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, so so the budget on this movie was only $15 million. Well, and here's the deal. Did it feel like a $15 million movie? No. No, no. It was great. It, it felt legit. like a big budget. Yeah, it felt like a big budget. Mm-hmm. Did That's this movie saying. even come out in the theater? Yes, yes, okay. it did. Um, so it's opening weekend. It grossed $11 million, so it almost made its money back in the first weekend. Uh, it got number two at the box office right behind Saving Private Ryan at that at that time. <laughs> well, okay. that's, that was a huge movie. Yeah, so a gigantic movie. Um. So in total, it, it made um, $92 million uh, wow. worldwide. Yeah, so, so it was they made a lot back. Yeah, they definitely made a lot back. Yeah, their, their budget was really low, so they, they did gangbusters on this movie. I believe it. And, um, and I will say, though, that <laughs> even though there were a couple scenes where the, where the double twin technology was a little wonky, there was no moments where I was like... Mm. Right, yeah. Like, none. It, you you could have bypassed those with a blink. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they did a really, really good job with mm-hmm. doubling her up. Exactly. And she did a good job doubling herself up. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they must have taken a lot of really good attention to, like, the stunt, not the stunt double, the, the stand-in the, double, yeah, the because they were always looking in, like, of course, if she's, like, if one's standing off to the left, you're going to look to the left. Mm-hmm. But they did a good job with their eyesight lines and things. It yes. didn't look like, you know, Annie's looking at Hallie two feet above her or whatever. Right, it yeah. just was very convincing mm-hmm. to me. I yeah, think, me too. I think I read that I mean, she had, like, an earpiece in that would play all the opposite lines from her when she was Hallie and or Annie. Oh! Yeah, which is really cool. That's very cool. Props to her because girl, wa- girl was a great actress in yeah. this movie. Yeah, like, she did great. Good job, Lindsay mm-hmm. Lohan. A little baby Lindsay. Little baby Lindsay Lohan. Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, this movie scored an 86%, which um, I fully agree with. The audience score is uh, 70%. And then on IMDb, I think it has a 6.5 out of 10. But uh, it I was mean, it's a great movie. I know tons of people who love this movie. Yeah, it was very well received at the, at the time. Was well re- very well received at this time. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was. I was a little bit worried. I was like, "Oh no, I'm gonna watch this and I'm not gonna like it as much as I did." No, I love it. 
I, I'd watch this movie again, like right now. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love this movie. You want to know how? Well, and Andre will know how, <laughs> because when he sits next to me in the movies, he's or in a movie oh watching movie, he's like, "Stop <laughs> sitting next to me, Emily." Because if I really like something, then I'll hit you. She like, is always is like, ah, it's ah. like, but it's a backhand. Like I'm not like trying to backhand smack you, but it's just like, a, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> like my hand just like yeah. reverts out, and I think I hit Louise probably 45 times. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god, that's so sad. But it oh is my god, so, so sweet. good. <laughs> I mean, Andre and I both don't feel great, and we were like, "Oh, we have to watch this." Movie. Yeah, I was very. But when we watched it, I felt better. I was like, "I feel good. I'm okay." I'm yeah, better. we we watched it like last night, and it was like the last thing we had to do before we went to bed. We're like, "Okay, we gotta watch this movie." Oh God, it's two hours. Oh man! And then <laughs> as, soon, as soon as it started, I was like, "This is great." Like, <laughs> yeah, I felt fantastic. fine. I was like, "Oh, cool. Yeah, I love this movie. Yeah." Mm-hmm. So that's that's a real. So uh, I'm a rate it. I'm a, I'm okay. a rate it. I'm giving this movie a nine and a half. Like I know that's really high. It's also for like sentimental reasons, but I don't dislike anything in this movie. I think it has a great storyline. It's a solid live action. It holds up twenty years later. Uh, so nine oh god, nine 20. and a half yeah, it's been years, 20 years, y'all. Yeah, Since twenty years. It's still holding up, and I will oh, I still watch this movie. Like I, good job, Disney. Yeah, nine I, and a half. I completely agree. I, I'm gonna give it a nine. Uh, it's it's a great movie. Like it's really fun the entire way through. It's all good. I I was really really impressed by Lindsay Lohan's performance. Yeah. She, she was doing all kinds of all I kinds mean, of we, good we stuff. We can have our. She's an adult now and different things going on. But man, she was a great child actress. Yeah, yeah she yeah, was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think you know just the the act of being a child actor is probably what messed her up in the in oh, the future. But know. well, we we know all about that. Yes. <laughs> We can talk about that on the crack, uh, but but yeah, o- overall this this movie is, is fantastic, and I I'd recommend if you haven't seen it and you listen to us, just talk about the whole thing. But go go watch it still. It's it's, it's, good. it's very good. It's very even if good. you have seen it, go watch it again. Exactly. Check Emily, nine good, nothing wrong. <coughs> uh, I I loved it. I liked the music choices. There were no annoying characters. Um, the ancillary characters were fantastic. I really liked the grandfather. Yeah. Um, I even liked the like the camp counselor people. They mm-hmm. were pretty funny. Um, it just it was just a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. But before we end today and before we go on to our next um, like movie. next week's movie and stuff, I think that we should just do a little mini tribute to someone who passed away. Yeah, um, the Aww. woman who played mom, uh, Elizabeth James, played by Natasha Richardson, she died in two thousand and nine. Which that's is, not uh, actually who I was talking about, but that's oh. also a very good tribute. Oh, Thank wow. you. Okay, cool. Andre, go ahead. Do you want to say anything else about that? Uh, no, that, that's all I had. I was, just, I, I was very surprised by that because I didn't, I didn't realize that until after we had finished watching the movie. I was like, oh, no. What are you that's, talking about? That's really sad. The <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. So as I was writing, as we were recording this um, oh. episode, we just received news that Stan Lee, the comic book legend behind Marvel, oh, died no. at 95 years Andre old. Andre and I were saying he's so old. And, and fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, 95. Wow, he lived a long life, guys. Stan Lee has created some of my absolute favorite characters of all time. He's uh, he's the number one. He, he's created all your favorite Marvel heroes. And uh, I, I'm, I'm very upset by this news. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I, I just passed. flopped it on no, you. No, no, no. It's okay. Um, because, like, he was having some issues in the past couple of months with people trying to like steal his money and yeah. and him being like estranged from his wife and stuff like that. So I'm glad that he is now at peace and uh, doesn't have to, to deal with any of those issues anymore. Um, but yeah, he lived in a, an incredible life and uh, that dude was in in like <laughs> at least 20 movies. <laughs> oh man, yeah. <laughs> he got his money on, or he got his movies on, excuse exactly, me. Yeah. So that's, that's really sad. Um, yeah, so, so RIP to Stan Lee. We love you. Yeah. We yeah. did we did some of your Marvel movies exactly. and we and we loved oh. you the whole time. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Oh, 95. Right. Man. Yeah, he lived a good long good long life. Yeah. That's that's very Shout out there. to Stan wow, the Man Lee. Yeah. Excelsior. <laughs> All right. Um <laughs> for next week, our next week's movie, we are going to be watching a classic um Hold on, are you excited about it? I'm very excited about are it. Are you excited yeah. about it? I'm eh about it. Oh, I'm excited about it. You want to know why I'm excited? Because I don't remember this movie. I don't remember anything besides the w- a scene that I didn't like called the walrus and the something. The walrus and the carpenter. So we if that doesn't give it away, guys. <laughs> we are watching the 1951 animated Disney film 
Alice in Wonderland. She wanders she and <laughs> wanders. She wanders, wanders, falls down Alice holes. Alice in Wonderland. How did you get to Wonderland? You fell down a hole. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're watching Alice in Wonderland, which is one of my favorite rides in Disneyland. And at I least in Fantasyland, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah it's, fun. it's a it's a great it's a great Fantasyland ride, and I I like seeing Alice in the Mad Hatter in the park. Luis is not. <laughs> um, he hates the Mad Hatter. Um, Which so is funny because he loves the Mad Hatter, and he I think he was really upset when he met him, and he was not excited to see. Him. Luis. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right. yeah. He was like, hey, he decided to see me. He was mean to me. He didn't want to take pictures of me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very excited. I, I've seen much more of the live actions than like the original Alice in Wonderland. I, I don't even remember it so much as a kid, so I'm very excited. Yep. Yeah. Me too. I yeah. just feel a little weird about it because my dad always used to sing that walrus song to me and I get so annoyed. That's <laughs> not like the best scene in this movie at all. Oh, Dang I, it, Steve. I, I love that scene. Okay. We'll, we'll I don't see. even remember walruses. So we'll, we'll see upon, upon this viewing. How <laughs> how weird it is. Um, oh, let sure. us know if you're excited, y'all. Yeah. Lewis Carroll? Is that who wrote the book? See? Yeah, Lewis. Um, okay. You guys, that's been it for this week. Uh, if you want to keep up with us in the meantime, until next week when we watch Alice in Wonderland, you can go to at the Walt Vault Pod on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Instagram is where all the action is happening. Get one of those. Um, send us a DM if you want uh, your message to be read on the show or if you just want to ch- chit chat with us and stuff like that. You can also send us an email to contact at the Walt Vault Pod dot com. Um, and we'll read that message on the show as well. Uh, if you want to support us, you can click subscribe on whatever you're listening to right now. That way you get the Walt Vault in your ears every week. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, all those places. Leave us a review. And if you want to extra support us, you can go to patreon.com slash the Walt Vault and sign up for as little as a dollar or more per month. And uh, that, that really helps us um, keep the lights on here and pay for podcasting fees and hosting fees and renting movies and all that all that good stuff so and andre's cold medicine yeah nah, just kidding you know hook me up because uh your boy needs it this week for sure uh but that's been it for us this week you guys thank you so much for listening we'll see you next time the vault is now closed